Hi guys, Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about these things. Dummies, because we had a major parenting win uh, last night and my three and a half year old daughter managed to get to sleep without a dummy, which is awesome and I've been putting it off for ages. And um, we had uh, yeah, we got around, finally got around to doing it, we had a plan in place, it went really well. So I'm going to give you today five tips for getting rid of a dummy. Step one is talk to your child um, about how they feel about giving up their dummy. Uh, B calls it a num num. So we've been talking about it for a while and she's very into the idea of being a big girl. Her friend, she's going to school in September, she's only, she's an August baby so she'll be the youngest but her friends are really kind of cool big girls and we always talk about that as a kind of um, incentive like you know, you've got to be a big girl, give up your dummy and all that type of thing so talk to her, make her excited about the fact that she's going to be giving up her dummy because it's awesome, it, it means she's moving on, she's going to be a big girl so gauge the reaction, if they freak out you might decide it's not the right time Step two is introduce the idea of a dummy fairy. So at three and a half, they're still completely into the idea of that, you know, they completely believe the idea of a fairy coming in at night and putting a present there and replacing their dummies for a present. So step three is to email or write to the dummy fairy. So I kept meaning to do, to do this letter to the dummy fairy and then one morning, I, I think yesterday morning, I just said to B, oh, shall I email the dummy fairy? And she thought that was a good idea. So I just, I emailed the dummy fairy. Step four, when you've ascertained uh, what kind of thing your daughter or son would like to replace their dummy with, uh, order the order the present. Well, obviously wait till it's arrived so you have it, it's there, it's ready to go. So in our case, I went for something quite big girl because the whole focus for us is on kind of replacing the dummy for big girl toys. So step five, when the night actually comes, really remain positive. What you've got to do is make this a really exciting thing. She's going to be anxious or he's going to be anxious. Last night B was anxious. So what I did, I replaced the dummy with something else and I said what we're going to do now at night instead of having a, num a num num is we're going to have special warm milk with special sleep medicine in it. So in summary I would say if you've left it like me till three and a half to get rid of a num num dummy, don't freak because there's some positives in that you can talk them round and kind of Instead of with a younger child, it might be kind of a bit of a screaming, crying out scenario. Um, yeah, don't panic, it's all good. And use the dummy fairy technique and good luck. Dummy fairy has been excellent girl. <gasps> what is it, V? It's Equestria Girls. Let me see. My Little Pony Equestria Girls. B, did you sleep all night without your num num? Look at me. Well done! Okay, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and comment below. Bye!